Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode. Today we are gonna learn how you can install Stable Diffusion in your PC completely for free without any prior knowledge to coding. First, you need to know if your graphics card is compatible with Stable Diffusion. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card with CUDA drivers in it, only then you can run Stable Diffusion, unless it won't work. Let's just go to the first link to see if your graphics card has CUDA drivers in it. This link takes you to Wikipedia. Uh, just go to the bottom. Here is a list of all the graphics cards that support CUDA. You can search if your graphics card is in the list. If it is, then you are good to go. Let's go to the next part. At first, let's create a folder named Stable Diffusion in your C drive. Yeah, it's not necessary to be C drive. You can use any drive for that purpose. I am here using this local disk Z. Let's see. New folder. Let's name it. Stable Diffusion. Let's go to the online guide. The next step is to download Git for Windows from their official website. Let's go. Here. Let's download it from here. You can see it's getting downloaded. Let's go to the downloads folder. Double click on it. Okay. Install. As you can see, the Git Bash is already installed in our PC. Let's go to the next step. Here, well, you can say you, you will be writing a line of code or a few words of code, but yeah, you don't need any prior knowledge for that. You can just copy the code from here and paste it in Git Bash. I haven't installed it in my C drive, so I'll be replacing C with Z. For you, it can be C, it can be D, or any drive you have installed it into let's write the small code and press enter now you are inside this folder via git bash now next let's install the web ui from github first you need to have an account for github if you already have one then you can skip this step if not you need to sign up here is the link for github uh, it already opens in my account for you you have to sign up and create an account verifying all the steps you know that let's go to automatic web ui page here you can see the link here click on it the page opens here as you can see here is an option to copy the code uh, let's go there click on it here is the copy button copy it let's go back to git bash now type git space clone space right click and paste the code there hit enter it will start cloning the stable diffusion web ui into your stable diffusion folder uh, it would need some time once it's completed you can see it shows 100 percent done now next step let's go to hugging face and download the stable diffusion models required to run this here just like github you need to have an account for hugging face if you already have one if not no worries you have to go to this link click on it and create an account as you can see i already have an account there so i don't need to create an account here in the website i have linked stable division version 1.4 1.5 and version 2 as i don't need the version 1.4 right now i'll be downloading version 1.5 and version 2 here is the link for version 1.5 let's open it here let's go to the bottom version 1.5 hyphen pruned dot ckpt let's download it here we can see it has already started being downloaded let's go to the next one stable diffusion version 2 let's click on the link again here we go let's click here here you can see the download button let's click here and it has also started downloading it's gonna take some time let's wait a few minutes before it gets downloaded then we can move on to the next stage as you can all see we have already completed downloading the models let's go to the downloads folder again the downloads as you can see the stable diffusion 2.0 model and the stable diffusion 1.5 models have been downloaded let's copy them Control c go to our folder local disk z stable diffusion inside the stable diffusion web ui folder let's look at the not the modules the folder named models you can see this let's go there inside stable diffusion let's paste the checkpoints here Control v the next step is downloading and installing python again let's go to the website here is the link 
let's click on it and download python for your operating system let's browse to the bottom here windows installer 64 bit we're gonna use this as my windows is 64 bit let's click on it double click on the folder as i have already have python installed it's showing the options modify repair or uninstall i'm just gonna cancel this you can just install it here remember to tick the box add python 3.9 to path when you install python once you have installed python let's go to settings let's start manage app execution aliases hit enter just remember to turn app installer off to avoid problems in the next stage let's close it let's go to stable diffusion web ui let's go to folders stable diffusion stable diffusion web ui here you have to locate the web ui hyphen user file let's go here web ui user dot bat windows bash file you can see that we have to use this file let's double click on that and it should start running again it's gonna take some time as it would download the models here let's wait a little bit more after almost an eternity we are finally here as you can see it has automatically done all the steps by itself I, we had to do nothing everything is installed and ready to go when you see this line here running on local url and the url id here that means the installation is done let's copy this id Control c open a new tab here Control v hit enter finally what we have been waiting for automatic 1111 web ui installed with stable diffusion uh, let's close all the other tabs now first yeah here there are two models installed right now stable diffusion version 1.5 and version 2 uh, let's use version 1.5 first let's write the prompt i'm going with something simple at first like a tabby cat with black suit and red tie i'm gonna use the sampling steps as well let's use 60 steps sampling method oiler a let's create a 512 by 512 and increase the batch count to 4 let's generate the images are generated these are pretty rough generations as i put almost no effort with the prompt yeah it's just a tabby cat with black suit and red tie unlike mirjani you have to be very specific with your prompts for stable diffusion but it has a greater level of versatility and you can do a lot of things with it like train your own custom models uh, use control net to get specific poses use use out painting image to image even create images based on just rough drawings and everything okay now it's time for the extras as promised here is an awesome guide by tral nicholas for those that are just starting out with stable diffusion go check that out the link is in the description for people with lower vram like 4 gigs or 6 gigs of ram that are facing black image generations or runtime error while using stable diffusion i have added another link in the description you can go there there are a few solutions it worked for me i used to use nvidia gtx 1650 it was pretty hard on the gpu running the stable diffusion but i managed to work it somehow 